I am uh, very proud of my football team to come out and practice like that tonight. I think uh, it shows what kind of character they have. It was a spirited practice and uh, a good practice. We'll look at the tape and make the corrections and so forth, but uh, it's a great start to what obviously is a very important game to us, so I'm, I'm pleased with our beginning. Did you uh, call the conference today? I did not get that phone call made today. There were other things pressing, but I will make that phone call later in the week. But it's not going to be something I'm going to share with you all. It's just things that uh, I think uh, are important to uh, share with the, the powers that be. I don't, not that I don't trust you, it's just not something that uh, needs to be talked about publicly. Do you usually get much satisfaction from those calls? Uh, no, and that's why I rarely do it. But I think in this case, it's something that I think needs to be addressed. So we'll handle it appropriately. The calculation of Richard Brea today? You know, he was good, uh, showing no signs of, uh, or ill effects from uh, uh, Thursday night, and hopefully that'll remain the case, and he'll be ready to go on uh, Friday. Now with a little bit of the uh, toughness and the emotion for Washington is kind of going after the piece, look back at that game. Any you have? Uh, it's it's a very disappointing game because we got off to such a marvelous start and then things that we're normally capable of doing started to unravel. Uh, you know, whether it be uh, an interception, whether it be a field goal, whether it be hitting a third down pass, whether it be, uh, uh, you know, a myriad of things. And then, uh, unfortunately, we lost our quarterback and, and we're playing with some very young guys that are, uh, relatively inexperienced guys who hadn't played before, and uh, it got away from us. Did you ever imagine you could plan a third or fourth speed quarterback? Well, you know, I, I have to give a lot of credit to Darius Bell. I mean, both he and I wanted to redshirt him. <laughs> I mean, we worked, we worked, uh, and, and, but, but, he, but he tried to stay ready, and uh, unfortunately it wasn't a great night uh, uh, and it wasn't a great opportunity to get started, but, uh, you know, his, his uh, diligence with the preparation uh, is going to be... Uh, exponentially increased and, and uh, hopefully he'll be ready to roll uh, uh, if need be on, on Friday. Will what will cause him to be the need huh? to be? Yeah. Will he be on Friday? Need it on Friday? Or you think you said Brio's probably going to be back? Oh, no, no. Well, you, you got to have guys ready to in, in, in the event, yes. But uh, uh, it, it's a... Uh, it's a great lesson. It's a painful lesson, but it's a great lesson to everybody that you got to be at your, you got to have totally ready to go. You're going to try and do anything to protect Richard, just to make it maybe don't run out of the pistol? Well, yeah, that question was asked today. You know, we are who we are. We have to run our offense, and, and uh, Richard's just got to, you know, keep our fingers crossed. He doesn't, he doesn't uh, take on uh, any more uh, injuries. Talk about what's going on in the kicking game. Well, you know, uh, I, I'm I, I'm not going to tell you that he's anything but the, you know the best kicker. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, uncharacteristically, he missed one. Uh, that uh, you know, there really wasn't any reason uh, other than he didn't finish through the target. Uh, but uh, I'm not trading. <laughs> he's important to us, and, and hopefully, he can figure in uh, uh, in a big way down the stretch. Here. Everybody good? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks.